Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today it is time for the five month update on this test that we are currently running. We have the four products on the test panel and it's been just over five months since we applied them. So we're gonna do a wash update and see how they're all looking. But firstly, let's go through the products we have. So starting up, we have Meguiar's hybrid paint coating and that is in this section here. And it is so far, been doing really well, does claim the one year plus protection. So we'll see how that is looking at five months. Next we have CarPro's Sea Quartz Light. This is the light version of their ceramic coating that's for consumers, uh, Sea Quartz UK 3.0. And yeah, this one is only claiming six months plus durability. So if it's only gonna get six months, I think at five months, we're gonna quickly know if that's the case or not. What I found with CarPro is they generally um, under promise and over deliver. So six months is very, very unlikely. I'd say it's gonna be closer to a year, but that's the only one that claims less than a year out of this test. Next up, we have Gion's Can Coat. And I'll just before I move on to Can Coat, um, I think you can see that on the camera, the, the Capro Sequartz light section, still, you can clearly see it's the darkest, is dirty and covered in dust this panel because it has been sitting outside for the last you know, month or the whole time actually the last five months but hasn't been washed in a while it's been sitting out it's covered in a layer of dust but you can see it is still looking the darkest as we pan over the rest of them uh yeah the next product is the geon can coat evo this stuff is claiming one year plus as well um very impressed with this one nice and easy to apply and very hydrophobic but we're going to see how it all plays out and then last up something a little bit different it's a paste sealant so we have fuso coats or soft 99 fuso coat um, and this one claiming 12 months durability as well as you can see they're 12 month coating so here a lot of good things about this it's the first time i've used it application i've heard is a bit of a nightmare i didn't find it too bad but again i was just doing this little small section i'm sure in a whole car you may have some issues with wiping it down, I don't know, but it seemed okay to me, as did all of them. Easiest to apply was by far the Meguiar's. But so now, yeah, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna rinse this down, get our initial look at how it's looking before we wash it. Then we're gonna wash it and we're gonna go through a bunch of different water tests to see how they're all looking. Okay, so let's just give this an initial rinse down. Doesn't look like we got a whole lot of changes from last month's update. They are all looking Nice and hydrophobic, which is definitely good to see. Five months in to a pretty neglected panel. So let's just grab a wash mitt. We have CarPro Reset in the bucket, as always. Let's give this a nice, quick wash. Alright, there we go. That's all we need. And we'll rinse that down. Okay, so now we've got all the sections washed. We're just gonna go over each one, try and flood the panel, see how they're looking. So starting with the Meguiar's, as you can see, we're unable to completely flood this section like we can with the uncoated sections. So as a coating fails, generally you'll start to be able to flood the whole thing and it'll still repel the water eventually and will run off. But at this stage, Meguiar's is too hydrophobic. Let's move over into the CarPro section. I'll just get the camera back a little bit further so you can see the writing to make sure you know which section I'm Filming, so yeah, this is the CarPro Sea Quartz Light. And it seems to be repelling the water a little bit better than the Meguiar's. Now the Meguiar's is starting to stick a little bit. The CarPro does seem to not even allow it to get close to flooding. So it's probably looking a little bit better. They all started off even, so yeah, I don't think the CarPro is going to be a six month coating as they 
claim, it's going to be a lot longer than that. Oops, sorry for the shaky camera there. Now onto the G on hand coat Evo. I mean, that is just looking absolutely incredible still. There's been no, I mean, I didn't watch back the first video before doing this or anything, but to me that looks still perfect, unchanged. Possibly a little more hydrophobic than the Car Pro, I don't know, maybe. Um, and then last up, come back a little bit more so you guys can see the writing there. We have the Soft 99 Fuso, Fuso? Fuso coat, whatever it's called. So this one, we're starting to really see, you can, you know, it's getting, it's clearly had an impact. This line along here, we saw in the last video, it was starting to fail. And yeah, it's continuing to be the case. So it's not looking, as hydrophobic as the others. That's clearly starting to change a bit. It's a noticeable difference at five months for the Fuso coat. One day I'll know how to say that right and just get it. Um, let's just go over all of them. Okay, so in that above shot, just from what I can see, it looks like the Gion and the Car Pro are looking the best. They seem to be unchanged, basically, whereas the Meguiar's, we see a little bit of a drop in performance, and the Soft 99, we see a more of a significant drop in performance. Still looking great at five months, and just think, I mean, if this car was, if this was on a car, this bonnet, if this was garaged, and maintained and people honestly if they're using these products they're generally going to use a topper after a wash which i haven't been doing um, all of these i think would go 12 months but this is being neglected this is being left outside in the sun all day we're getting into the hot season here in brisbane and it's yeah the performance may differ um, but i'm purposely neglecting this a little bit more so to give a real indication of what you can get out of these and i think they're all looking pretty good at five months so now, what I might do is, oh, I did ask, someone did want me to flood each section. So I'll do that now, I'll change the hose pattern and we'll try and literally try and dry them using the water. Okay, I'm just gonna leave the camera in the middle for this, but we're going to try so much. A little too much water pressure there. Trying to hold the other camera at the same time. Put that down, okay. So that's the Soft 99, completely flooded that. And hopefully you can see that in the footage, it dried itself. Now for the G on. It's a lot harder to flood but we managed to do it. And then it dried itself as well. Let's try and bring the hose around. Sorry, there's so much pressure in this hose. <laughs> it's quite hard. Um, that was the Car Pro we just did, and now the Meguiar's. So you can see you can basically flood the Meguiar's and it all sheets off. So basically it looks like what I thought, the CarPro and the Gion are looking the best. The Meguiar's and Soft 99 have dropped a little bit. All right, now I'm gonna dry this off completely and we're going to do our beading test. All right, so we've got it nice and dry. Let's just get the hose in the mist function. It's mist over the entire thing. It 
should about do it. And then we will swap over to the other camera. So, starting off here with the Meguiar's section. You still see nice round beads. No real difference there. Still looking good. I mean, they're not as round as they were. I mean, just always play around. Do I use the light or not? They're not quite as round as what they were, but they're still looking good. Next is the Car Pros section. So the Car Pro looking really good. Just perfect, nice round beads in the Car Pro section. Next, the Geon. Probably looking the best. But it all depends on how much water hits each section really. Um, but the Geon's very nice tight round beads. So yeah, happy with that. And then the Soft 99. So you can see here in this section where we had the water sort of pulling up a little bit more. The beads are gone a little bit more oblong. They're not nice and round like they are over in this section here. Sorry about the dog barking. He's obviously can hear me in the garage here and wants attention. Um, but yes, the Soft 99 looking, not looking as good, but still looking quite well. If you didn't have these all on the panel at the same time to compare them, you wouldn't really notice a difference. That's why I like doing these types of tests where I compare directly. Um, I'll just get the hose again, which I threw for some reason all the way to the side of the garage. And we'll come in, starting over here, and I'm just going to have a look at these. Missing the water on there as it hits. So here, this section here where we're seeing some clear signs of failure. Um, but over here, what I have to do is just hold the water there, watch as it reacts as it hits, and then when we let go, does it instantly disappear? And yes, it does. So it's mainly just failing in this section here. It looks like it's spreading. Could have been an application issue, I don't know. So if that just continues to just be the only section that fails, um, I guess we'll know. But we did notice when we were flooding this that it did not repel the water as quick as the Geon and the Car Pro. So speaking of the Geon, like, I mean, look at that. That's a clear difference. Get in nice and close. You see, as soon as that water touches, it just instantly turns into beading or just sheets away. There is no sticking at all. It is on there and it is gone. Yeah, I mean, I guess they're not too far different. If I go back to the Soft 99 to compare. Um, this is gonna be the Car Pro. As always, let me know what you guys think. I'm just staring at the camera as I'm doing this. You are probably watching on a phone or a TV and you're probably seeing things a little bit better than I am because I'm not actually looking at it in real person while I'm doing this part. I'm literally just staring at the camera because it's so close right in front of my face. So, always happy to hear your thoughts. But, I mean, for the Car Pro and the Geon. Don't really think there's anything between them. Yeah, they're pretty much dead on, even, I'd say. Um, all the McGuire's now. So yeah, clearly, nice and hydrophobic. Water disappears straight away. If you come over here, could just be me, but the Meguiar's maybe doesn't look quite as hydrophobic as the Car Pro, and I'm pretty sure they all started off even. So you can see that in that test there where the Meguiar's is losing a little bit of its performance just because I know that they all looked pretty much dead on even at the very start. So any change we see here between them means there has been a drop in performance. 
But again, happy to hear your thoughts. If it's just me, I'm looking too much into it, I don't know. So yeah, there we go guys. That is our five month update. So at this point, I'll continue to just do monthly updates as maybe let me know what you guys think as always. Happy to do whatever you think works best. Um, but what my thought was, wait till the performance is really dropping and then go to maybe fortnightly updates or weekly, whatever works. We'll work it out as we go. But at this stage, I think we'll just come back at six months. Um, and then also, I'm not sure which video I'll film first, just film another video as well. Um, I want to apologize for the lack of videos lately. Um, I've just been super busy. I have just started a new business um, as well as working a full-time job and doing two YouTube channels. As it just became a bit too much, so I had to kind of get a bit lazy and slack out on the YouTube side of things. Um, but now the business that I've started, which is a vending machine business, um, is now my full-time thing as well as these YouTube things on the side. So I now don't have to work another job um, full-time as well. It's actually given me free time to be able to film again. So I'm gonna go back to detailing more cars again because I've had to turn away a lot of cars that people want me to detail. Just haven't been able to do them. Um, now I'm gonna go back to doing that. So I'll be re regular cinematic full detail videos. Again, there'll be more tests like this. There'll be more product reviews and on my other channel, if you're a subscriber over there, same thing, more videos coming on both. So yeah, just wanna say thanks for subscribing, being loyal. Subscribers, commenting, liking, sharing the videos, really do appreciate it. And yeah, let's get back to weekly uploads and taking video suggestions. Anything you want to see me guys, uh, anything you guys want to see me test or compare, I'm always happy to hear those. So yeah, as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.